What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a sneak peek of custom batch number two from Mac Decals here on the channel that will be coming very, very soon. This is obviously going to be the Royal Rumble theme batch after we just got out of Royal Rumble WWE 2020. Should have been WWE Royal Rumble 2020. I'm just a stupid jackass. But getting into it, guys, I did want to showcase this. But first of all, I do want to plug in this custom ricochet from Survivor Series 2019. You guys know this is from batch number one. I do want to go ahead and plug this the link is in the description uh, a guy did not want to pay for the auction once it was completed so we are relisting this auction and relisting this custom if you guys want to pick this up it is up for grabs right now or you could just buy it outright it is all available all available on ebay right now so definitely go check that out but uh, let's go ahead and get into the next batch guys so the next batch is pretty epic i'm excited for it and i do have a custom that is confirmed this is the only confirmed custom i know that uh, the the rest of the customs in this batch are sub Subject to change they could change at any given moment before we get the batch so the first custom that is confirmed for the batch number two guys is royal rumble 2004's chris benoit the winner of the royal rumble i love this custom i think it's going to be an excellent figure uh the decals are right there that you can see for the rips on the pants and this figure is going to be excellent it is going to be a wonderful figure that we get in batch number two i can't wait to see who ends up with this figure because this one is going to be excellent i mean i, I want this personally for my collection I have a WrestleMania 20, and uh, if you guys want to see a different Benoit further in the custom batches, definitely let me know. But Chris Benoit from Royal Rumble 2004 is confirmed for this set. We know it to be true, and I cannot wait to see what Mac does with this one. I know he's going to nail it. He nails every custom, as you guys saw from batch number one. But Chris Benoit, Royal Rumble 2004, red attire, looks beautiful. Can't wait to see what it looks like. But the next figure that could be confirmed for batch number two, guys, is going to be Hollywood Hogan from WCW. Now, this one is not confirmed, but we do know that it could potentially be in it um, a lot of work goes into this custom and you guys can see here this was a like commissioned piece for Mac and we're trying to figure out if we want to put this one in the batch but it does look fantastic it looks perfect I think it's a perfect formula for a Mattel Hollywood Hogan if we ever get that I think that this could easily be the formula you know they did use this torso for the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Holy, Holly, uh, not Hollywood Hulk Hogan but regular Hulk Hogan that we have seen from Mattel before so whenever you know Hulk Hogan does make a return to the Mattel elite figure line I think this could be the formula they use i think it's a perfect formula it looks beautiful all the details are there and you get accessories you get all the great stuff i love the head sculpt i think this looks pretty much damn perfect as you can get for a hollywood hogan and i think that could be a thing and again this is not confirmed for batch number two but it is one that is up for consideration and uh, i think the last figure that is up for consideration for batch number two is going to be randy orton from royal rumble 2004 so we're going to have two different figures from the royal rumble 2004 and it is chris benoit and randy orton the randy orton looks so beautiful i freaking love it when he used to rock the colorful attires i know he's done some colorful attires here and there since but uh, it seems like lately and you know through the majority of his career it's been black with an accent color but this this figure looks fantastic as well uh, still waiting to finish this one up and again this one isn't confirmed for the set but this is another potential one that we could see I would love to see uh, you know get some votes get some comments flowing down in the comment section on what figures you know that are potentials that you guys would like to see and also um, which ones that you for sure want but I can say that without a doubt Chris Benoit is for sure in this this battle right now and Hollywood Hogan and Royal Rumble 2004 Randy Orton the first two entrants I might add from the Royal Rumble 2004 are potentials but moving on to other figures that are uh, highly potential I, I can confirm actually you know what this next one we can confirm for batch number two it is going to be the return of Edge from Royal Rumble 2020 that one is confirmed for this batch it is Edge from Royal Rumble 2020 obviously uh, you guys saw my reaction video that I uploaded very epic moment Edge returning at the Royal Rumble 2020 we're going to get a Randy Orton view going into Wrestlemania very excited for this um, I can say that uh, I have seen what the figure has been worked on and I can show some of that progress here in the video and this figure is going to be beautiful I, I want one for my personal collection and uh, this thing is so fantastic I think that Mattel is probably going to end up making this I'm sure they will if they don't but it'll be in a year and a half so I mean that there's that but Royal Rumble 2020 Edge looks beautiful I can Cannot wait for to see you know exactly what you guys think of it and everything like that get it in hand and showcase it and review it for you guys but here is edge from royal rumble 2020 and all of the whip pictures that are working on right now and i think that mac is is going to you you guys are going to definitely love this custom right here 
The next figure that is coming to the batch number two, potentially, guys, is going to be AJ Styles from Royal Rumble 2020. You guys know that he showed up pretty much the Elite 56, but he did have the, the saturated red coming in there. And this figure is pretty interesting. I think that it's pretty interesting attire. I, You know what it reminded me of? I think he already owned these tights. And if you guys, I'll pull up the picture right here. Do you guys remember Fastlane 2018? You remember the poster for that where he had this attire on pretty much? I'm willing to bet a lot of money that uh, this is an actual attire that he wore for the promo shots for this, or they could have probably photoshopped it, but I feel like he went in studio and wore this attire already, and this is an older attire that he matched with other knee pads and other things, and then he just added the OC patch to it, possibly. I think that is definitely something that could have taken place. He just added red knee pads to it, because it looks just like the attire from the Fastlane 2018 poster. Again, I could be wrong about that, but that's just what it seems like to me. It seems like that was the case with this, and it it looks good. I mean, it's it's not the best attire that he's ever worn, but I think it's very unique to the Royal Rumble 2020. I know that there's rumors going around that he did get injured. I don't know if that's been confirmed or what, but apparently he hurt his shoulder, and so uh, this uh, this figure it should be beautiful. Mac always kills his AJ Styles customs. If you guys go to his page, he has a lot of AJ Styles customs on there. He's made you know his WrestleMania 35 attire, and he's made like pretty much all different attire. He's even done fancy attire. So Mac is a beast, and he will definitely hook it up when we see this figure in hand. So AJ Styles Royal Rumble 2020 is the next figure in the batch, guys. And I think the last figure in the batch that we're going to do is Seth Rollins from Royal Rumble 2020. Now we know that Seth Rollins, you know, he always rocks a cool attire and stuff like that. And this attire isn't the best attire he's ever worn. You know, it's kind of muted. I guess it's because he's healed now. You know, he's going to rock darker color and black and white and silver mainly for his attires, which is okay. You know, nothing too crazy with it, but Seth Rollins is looking good right here. I actually like this this attire. I think it's, uh, you know, solid. I, I, for one, can appreciate a very simple attire, you know, if it works and everything. I like the line work on it. Um, I'm not a big fan of, like, the Monday Night Messiah or Messiah going down the, the side of the pants. I, I wish that he would have left that part out just because, I don't know, it kind of just makes it look, I, I don't really know, it kind of looks makes it look a little creator wrestlery, but then again, you had his Flames attire that look like a creator wrestler too. So I don't know. I, I mean, who, who the hell knows? We'll probably end up getting this from Mattel down the line as well because uh, you guys know they went on to make that Royal Rumble Flames attire. So we'll just have to see about that. But this, uh, this Seth Rollins attire is nice. I like it a lot. And so I'll probably get one for my own personal collection because I like it. So Seth Rollins is another figure that we think is going to be confirmed for batch number two. And I think Ricochet is also a potential for the batch number two guys from Royal Rumble. You guys know that he came out and uh, he didn't last the longest, but he put up a decent little showing against Lesnar in the field out there. And, uh... I like this attire a lot more, I think, than all the rest of his attires, you know, with the full bodysuit. I like it when he just rocks the pants. So Ricochet from Royal Rumble 2020 is another potential that we could possibly see. But I think that about does it for batch number two for the potentials. You know, again, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We're still running over ideas. If there's an idea of a figure you guys want to really see and you guys want to see in the batch, please let us know down in the comment section below because I can, you know, we can get together and we can write that down, get all the facts checked and everything like that. But let's run through the batch one more time before we get get out of here guys we're gonna have royal rumble 2004 chris benoit the number one entrant from the royal rumble 2004 we have the number two entrant royal uh royal rumble 2004 could be randy orton in the blue attire another potential uh Another potential custom that could be for Batch 2 is Hollywood Hogan from WCW. Another beautiful custom by Mac. And then we have three customs from Royal Rumble 2020, which could be AJ Styles, Edge, which is confirmed, and then we have Seth freaking Rollins. And again, guys, definitely go give a follow to Mac on Instagram because he is such a good beast at what he does. The dude is ridiculous. And uh, he killed all the customs for Batch number 1, which all were shipped out, except for Ricochet. Ricochet, again, is still on eBay right now. You can go bid on that because we had an auction fall through and uh, that was pretty unfortunate so if you guys will definitely go check out that link in the description to bid on that survivor series 2019 ricochet and so definitely go give a follow to mac on instagram um, another thing is i've been dealing with like the last week or so I've been dealing with, like, my wisdom teeth coming in, like, really bad, and it's, like, giving me, like, total fits, guys. I've been in, like, ridiculous pain in my mouth, and, like, it's so terrible. I probably will go to the dentist today, and so um, I, it looks like I may have to get my wisdom teeth removed. And so if that happens, then that's going to definitely suck, and that's definitely going to 
take two or three days off. I'm still going to probably have an uploaded schedule, you know, for videos to come in the next few days um, following that, but I don't know when that'll be. I'm still working on an appointment and stuff like that, so we'll have to see about that. But my mouth is in, like, tremendous pain, which is making it even harder to get through the show. And so, um, I don't know, just a lot of bullshit on the plate right now. But we're trying to get through the best we can. I hope you guys did enjoy the batch number two customs and everything like that so let me know what you think of all of that down in the comment section below but i'm gonna get the hell out of here and uh, go take care of my mouth but thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel go check out the ricochet custom go follow mac on instagram and let us know what you think of the possible customs for batch number two down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video thank you